For the next one, once that's completed, you leave the you leave the receiver on, and this will be on. We want to do our calibration next. So, what we'll do is power on. You will take and turn on your transmitter. Your transmitter is turned on by bumping engine start. You'll see your TX and RX come on. Now we want to go into calibration mode. And what that is, is allows us, again, like we said, to change the settings on the joysticks so you can have more finite control to your operator or uh, whoever is operating the crane's preference. For, to get into that mode, you'll get air off and you'll hold down engine and the turtle. And you'll hold that about four seconds. You'll see the battery LED come on. You'll release at that point and what you'll see as well is an L18 on here. Now we're on the low side. And on the low side, what you can do is when you barely touch the, the joystick, that's when your crane will stop, start operating. We will then go over to like our rotate counterclockwise. And we want to look at that in the corresponding number. If 18 is where you want it to be, we'll leave it. Same thing for our rotate clockwise our boom down, our boom up. These are set a little bit higher from the factory. If you want to slow them down a little bit or you want them to respond faster, let's say you want it to respond faster. We'll hit boom down. We want it to move faster. To go higher, all you do is hit your speed, engine speed up to go higher, your engine speed low to go lower. Once you get it to the appropriate number you want, you will hit engine start and you will see that it's, once it's in there, you'll see the 90 flash. That'll, be, that'll mean that it's, it's saved. So now we'll go around and check everything else, see where everything else is at. If we like the numbers on the low side, this again, this is where it's going to start. So the higher the number, when you hit the joystick, the higher the number, the faster it's going to respond. So if you go too high, the crane may jump. So you always want to stay a little low. So now we want to go to the high side. We'll hit air off and we'll hit speed up, the rabbit. Now we're in high. As you can see here, H75. Now we're on the high side of these. Same thing. You got about five seconds to start doing some things. You'll go around. Same thing, your high settings. The higher you go, the more travel you'll have. And the crane may not respond as well. It may respond too quickly. If you go too high, Let's say our number is 70, and we think if we go, you can go from 0 to 100. If we go up to 100, oh, we'll go faster. No, you won't. You'll get about halfway through the travel. You'll saturate the valve, and you'll have this much throw left before anything. That it'll do nothing. You'll already be at full speed, only half the joystick. So you really want to watch those numbers. So the same procedure is low. You go through. You want to change something, go higher or lower right here. Once you get the number you want, you continue to hold that function. Engine start, you'll see the red LED come on. That's saved. If you want to go back to low, you forgot a number, just hit the low, or air off and the low. Now you're in low side. One thing you can tell, if you're going up, triangle that came on, that means you're between two functions. That means it's not going to work, you're not going to be able to calibrate. You'll want to see that triangle off and a flashing corresponding. LED. For uh, boom down and up it's 40. For rotate it's 20. Winch down is 80. And your extension will be 60. On the high side those LEDs will be on the same orientation except they'll be solid. Same thing. If you go between two you're going to get a triangle and you'll get the opposite status. Once you're done you've got everything set. You can hit E stop. That'll stop. Your receiver will take a couple of seconds behind, it'll put in the new uh, parameters, and then it'll go back to normal status. That ends our presentation for today. I hope it was informative and helps you with your new crane. In the future, if you have any questions pertaining to the new series, please give our technical support a call here at IMT. Thank you for your attention.